let's go. Hello Outlanders, uh, just let us know in the chat if you could hear us all okay and then we'll jump right in. Mm -hmm. Okay, can hear you all fine, that's great, awesome. So hello everyone, uh, my name is Rasithia, I'm the Senior Community Manager for Figure, and I have two producers with me here today. We have Pirit, who you may know already from before, and we also have Zora, who you also may know from uh, before hello. already. Hey. Um, all right, those great people are jumping in on the chat and we'll just let people come in before we begin. But we have a lot to talk about today, uh, basically because we had our most recent update. And so we hope that you have some questions for us while we will also be showcasing our most recent update, which is 13.0 or Chronicles Deliverance. So, great! Uh, maybe we could jump right in really quickly to the game and maybe Zora, could you please queue up for an encounter and while you queue up we will go with introductions okay. in case we have some new outlanders who, uh, you know, who don't know what's going on mm -hmm. or why we're streaming today. Uh, yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot for the update. Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we got some people in the chat thanking us for the update. We're happy that you are enjoying it so far then. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's do some introductions. Uh, who would like to go first? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I can go first. Yeah, okay, so okay. It, it just feels weird to be sitting in this position <laughs> and on this position. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, well, uh, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm Carrot. I work as a producer, as you already heard. Um, and what we, both of us, do is basically we take care of the team, of the tasks, if everything is on track, if different departments are communicating with each other. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, a lot of communication and just keeping track of tasks and, and stuff that we need to do. Mm-hmm, yeah. And so, Zora, would you briefly introduce yourself, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my name is Zora, and I've been working here uh, on the Vigor as a producer for almost eight months. And yeah, as Spirit said, our job is mostly about making sure that everyone is on the same page, that they got all the information, and uh, also that the team is aware about the deadlines. So it's mostly about planning, meetings, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it's really cool. We like it. I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, 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 both of us. I'm happy to hear you like it. <laughs> and by the way, Zora, feel free to boost like crazy. I know yeah, you yeah, are yeah, introducing yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. But just so. fine. I'm not still. I'm still not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's good that you said that because I know a lot of people are a bit uh, picky when people don't ready up when they're in a lobby. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. It was intentional. That's great. Now I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. So while Zara goes in into an encounter, we just want to go through a brief overview with what we have that is new, which Zora can also show off. Uh, we have the new Berry M12, which is an SMG, which I believe Zora has equipped right now, and mm -hmm. she'll go okay. shooting around with yes, it in the outfit. <laughs> well, I not as much a good shooter. It, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to go shoot or if you want to go more looting, okay, so maybe because we, should. yeah, I wanted to say we also added the adrenaline shot with this mm -hmm. update, which uh, we believe could help looters a lot, and I know that. Zora would maybe prefer to loot this time around with the adrenaline shot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're going to be able to see it in action right now. Basically Zora is able to That's run true. much faster <laughs> and yeah, you're basically <laughs> able to... I'm a to farmer. <laughs> <laughs> so I need this thing. Yeah. Okay. And um, it, for those who may or may not know, basically you have to be quite careful with managing your stamina when you have the adrenaline shot. Uh, if you could see, Zora is like making sure that her stamina is not going past the breaking point, but she just went past the breaking point. Ah, but it's all right now. Uh, basically, uh, you will be feeling, or your character, or your outlander will be feeling negative effects if you go past the breaking point and if you empty out your stamina bar, basically. Mm -hmm. um, you will 
maybe Zara can use another one and then yeah, I will, I will definitely no pressure I know that yeah. you're gonna run yeah. around with it um, but basically if you use it and you don't watch out for your stamina you're going to be hearing really loud heart beating sounds you'll also hear loud breathing sounds and your outlander will basically have the effects of the adrenaline shot wear off um, much faster. Let's see what the chat has to say. Uh-huh. Also, one interesting thing about the adrenaline shot mm-hmm. is that we actually started working on it much earlier than, um, like before pushing out the feedback survey. That oh I'm yeah, for sure. It. But interestingly enough, many people actually mentioned it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we. I believe they did. Uh, and I'm saying I believe that because we are still looking through mm-hmm. the data. Yeah, exactly. uh, for those of you who are curious, we will be sharing the data that we got from our survey in a stream in October, early mm-hmm. October. So we're just analyzing the data we got, compiling it, and we will be presenting it to you as well in October. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned. Uh, all right, let's see what the chat has to say. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that I've seen a question about the gazettes, so maybe we can oh, yeah. answer that one. Like, why there aren't any gazettes this, this season? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who wants to start? Uh, well, I would. I would say personally that um, maybe we overdid it a bit with gazettes every season because, first of all, it's. It's time consuming to make them, definitely. Like you have multiple departments involved, you have to write the script, then you have to find voice actors, do the acting, and you know, like it's it's hard to make them, so doing them every season can be a bit exhausting also for the team. Uh, and I also believe that we had like mixed feedback from the community to a certain degree. Uh-huh. I mean, if you do not want to collect them, you obviously won't collect them, right? And you don't care about them. But I think that still people aren't listening to them as much as we first anticipated. Yep, I believe so. And yeah, I was able to find the question. It was definitely about cassettes and they also asked on YouTube if mm-hmm. we are dropping a mid-season update with cassettes, oh. which we are not uh, because as Parrot mentioned it was time consuming and it's not the response or the community response or the community listening to cassettes was not as much as we anticipated but that doesn't mean that we're ruling out cassettes forever um, mm-hmm. it's just for this uh, update uh, we'll see what the future holds so mm-hmm. don't freak out don't worry we're not ruling it out it's not completely off the table <laughs> All right, and we actually, I don't know if how Zora feels about uh, being asked a question while playing. Are you comfortable with that, Zora? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, I think I am somehow. I, I will try. <laughs> okay. Um, one of our community members is asking what your favorite part of the Vigor community is and what is your favorite part of being a part of the Vigor team? Yeah, okay, so the favorite part of the Vigor community is definitely the meme- memes. <laughs> really, I, I love it. It's just, it's, it's perfect. No hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really something that makes m- m- my days here, but sometimes, like, it's really, mm-hmm. it's really nice. And we are also checking it, like, on our meetings and stuff, so yeah, it's, it's really nice. Just keep going with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. Uh, about the team, like I think it's everything. I don't love the people that I'm working with, so mm-hmm. it's really nice to cooperate, and nice to have the brainstorming, and to think uh, what's uh, what's gonna be there, like in the new seasons and stuff. I really love the whole communication and the people, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the team, the whole team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. that's glad to hear. Hopefully, that answers your question. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Zara was able to brave it. Brave, yeah. bravely answer the question while running around for loot and just <laughs> going for it. Um, and well, yeah, so aside from the new SMG and the new adrenaline shot we've added, you may also notice that Zora's Outlander is wearing 
New cosmetics. Yes, thank you, Zora. I hope no, nobody, gonna, nobody gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a shame if somebody just headshot Please you. don't kill me. If you are watching it, please don't kill me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this, uh, these cosmetics are a part of the Fallen Crown of Daisy pack, which we added with this um, most recent update. Mm -hmm. um, basically, which a lot of Outlanders have already pointed out, um, it's the crossover that we have for mm -hmm. Daisy. Um, and this is not the only crossover that we have with this update. Uh, we also let you all know that our um, Chronicles Deliverance 13.0 Battle Pass is, let's say, uh, Everon Arma themed. Uh, so we hope that you enjoy the cosmetics and let us know what you think about them. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what the chat has to say. <laughs> There's this funny question, uh, and now it, I'm really tempted to check out the photo, but they were asking what's wrong with the dude's leg on the photo for... For the uh, season? Yeah. yeah. Like the key art. Yeah, or I guess the, so. I guess the pants look a bit bulky. They, it, it does, but I mean, mm -hmm. like, if you're running, your trousers are gonna get a little bit baggy or ballooned over. Yeah, yeah exactly. I never noticed it, actually. Yeah, I no, didn't I either. We need I've been either. looking at the picture for, like, a long weeks. time. <laughs> yeah, me neither, me neither. So, um, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, interesting question there. Uh, back to the game real quick so that we could see Zora running around and looting. Uh, let's see. Quick question. What's happened to all the rats at my shelter? I used to get 500 plus food, but now it's more like 250. Um, I guess you're talking about the rat traps, not the rats, oh, yeah. because there are no rats in the Outlands, or at least we haven't implemented any, they, they, the sound is there. Mm -hmm. um, but basically it's a part of the changes that we've made recently. Maybe I will scroll quickly through our change log while Zora tries to run for the airdrop. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't checked out our change log, you will be mm -hmm. able to find it on our website, or basically when you uh, open the game if you open Vigor on your console and you'll see the what's new screen and you can access the change log from there. Uh, let's see... Alright, so when it comes to rat traps, the maximum capacity of food held by it um, was lessened. So when you're at level 13, uh, it used to hold around 576 and now it only holds 240, but that's just the maximum capacity. Uh, actually, if you look at the line above, it says that the food generated of the rat traps have been increased. So you basically get more food generated, uh, and the, um, the ma it's just the maximum capacity, you know? We've actually mm -hmm. um, massively improved a lot of the shelter improvements. Yes. Uh, you could, a lot of things are, let's say, generating materials or food faster. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zora. <laughs> but I had an insurance. No one saw it. Yeah, no one saw it. No one saw it, and I had an insurance, so... It's nice. all fine. Um, yes, so back to the question with the rat traps. Mm -hmm. We've just changed the maximum capacity. Uh, it's not that we've decreased the generation of it, it's just the capacity of it in total. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, let's see what the chat has to say meanwhile, uh, and this is Zora's amazing XP. You looted a lot, actually, especially mm -hmm. considering that we were <laughs> running around and um, talking a lot and you stopped every now and then <laughs> like, to <laughs> chat with us, so uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a serious question. Where can I find the change logs for the game? Well, you may find it on our website, or you may also find it when you uh, open the game, and you... I believe on Xbox you have to uh, press X uh, on the What's New screen, oh, or yeah, is it sure Y? Does. I'm not sure, muscle memory, but but mm -hmm. you can access it from the game itself as well, but um, if you would like, here is the link as well to the changelog if you want to have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, let's see... Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I was looking at uh, the battle pass because it's great that Zora is um, taking a look at it. <laughs> uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, it's more of an Arma themed battle pass uh, because it's the season of crossovers, let's say. Uh, so yeah, we hope that you enjoy military themed, Arma themed cosmetics. Uh, let us know what you think. and. We've only hit level 3 because nobody literally plays on this account, but what yeah. level are you guys right now? So just tell us in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, those gloves look sick. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. That's really nice. Alright. Um, let's see what the other chats have to say meanwhile. Let me have a look. Uh, on YouTube there is a question. Um, do, will we be having any new emotes anytime soon? Well, not really, I wouldn't say so. I mean, like, having new emotes is nice. At the same time, it's also, like, um, it's pretty time-consuming to make and taking into account how many players actually use them and for what. I think that we have the basics that we really need in the game. Like the, you know, hey, everything, <laughs> if you want to make friends, or... If you want to punch the air when you're frustrated. As well. uh, but honestly, I don't know like what we should add. Like, I, I know that some players were mentioning sitting down, maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which potentially, yeah, I can see that, but it really wasn't a priority um, in the recent updates, definitely not. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, we got a question on Facebook as well, asking why we have a prison break theme. Mm -hmm. And they also said, please don't redirect us to the trailer. But mm -hmm. we also have the trailer playing here for you. Uh, basically, it's related to, let's say, the Arma theme that we had. Yes. And also, uh, you just have to listen to the... It's not going to be playing now, but if you watch the trailer and you listen carefully, there are lines being set on there, which will help you understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. And also, we decided to go with... We, since we couldn't add cassettes, because it was time-consuming, mm -hmm. as mentioned, we went and tried to add some lore to the trailer this time around. So. Hopefully that answers your question. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, this trailer is really sick. Oh, I'm yeah, so... Awesome. Uh, our video team did an amazing job, and we put a lot of work into this. Uh, we will probably be sharing a behind-the-scenes video with y'all sometime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, probably in the next week or so. Hopefully you'll keep an eye out for it and stay tuned for it. I think that the behind the scenes uh, video was yeah, really, it's really nice. Yeah, nice. Um, because like it also uh, also shows the mocap session and yep. everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh, motion capture, like it's really interesting to see the output here on the trailer and then yes. put it side by side with uh -huh. what the team was actually seeing in real life while they were doing the mocap. So, yeah. Yeah, that's um, interesting and also kind of funny, or stuff because you can see it, the it, people it like in funny, some yeah. when yeah. it's yeah. just in, into like visuals of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like two people <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting in an empty room, you know, with yeah. stuff on their body. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's get back to the gameplay because Zora is still actually scrolling through the battle pass levels and trying to show everything. Yeah, for sure. I get that. Go right ahead. Um, mm -hmm. And we've got a question from the chat. Why does my shelter reset every time I go back? Yes, this is a known bug. We are really sorry that it is happening. The team is currently working on a fix, which yes. we will push out as soon, soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, so there's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a hotfix, but we, mm -hmm. as soon as possible. We are yeah. really working yeah, yeah, yeah. on we, it right now. The we're, tests are on mm -hmm. it right mm -hmm. now. We're getting a lot of community reports uh, from you all, so thank you so much for sending them in. It's helping us understand which issues need the highest priority, let's say, uh, so that we could figure out um, how quick we can pump out the hotfix. It's so. only also uh, the uh, visual thing, yep. so your yeah. shelter levels are still there. the same. As, yeah, as there was, was no stash wipe. Yes, <laughs> it's yes, just yes. A visual so really sorry thing. for that, sorry for that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Interestingly uh, enough, someone is asking about bigger merch. Uh, Oh, in, yeah. in the past we asked the community what they would like to see. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the lighters are uh, a really cool idea. At the same mm -hmm. time, like it's not just up to us, you know, we can't just say one day, oh yeah, let's make this happen and suddenly it will It happen. spawns in our hands and we're like, yeah. wow, <laughs> we have lighters now. <laughs> uh, but we had quite cool merch dropping like a month ago. Yeah, actually. the anniversary um, hoodie. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, it was there for pre-order, a uh, special edition for our anniversary. Yeah. Uh, but we hope to pump out more merch eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand the excitement for, or like, if you think about a Vigor Lighter as merch, yeah. I mean, that's hella cool. So, totally understand the hype and the excitement with it. Um, but we'll uh, see what yeah. the future holds, because like Pirate said, it's not just... Mm -hmm. There has to be a process for us to exactly. get more merch. So, yeah. I mean, with merch that is this specific, it's usually hard to tell how many players would actually be interested in that, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone wears hoodies or t-shirts. Uh, lighters are something different. I, I know that some people would be interesting, including myself. I mean, like, it's it's really fun idea at the same time. I don't know how many players would actually appreciate something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw someone on our socials mm -hmm. saying that they really want the merch, the lighters merch, because they want to do their Christmas gift shopping already. Oh, so nice. that would be interesting. Yeah. That would be an awesome Christmas mm -hmm. gift. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, <laughs> and we got some interesting suggestions in the chat as well as Mankini. many other questions. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> say that we are planning on a mankini right now. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. um, and Zora, feel free to like yeah, either keep play. scrolling, or it's up to you as well if you want to go through a shootout match or mm -hmm. elimination. I will. I will. Whatever you would like. I'm gonna get myself killed. <laughs> uh, let's see what we have in the um, update uh, blog mm -hmm. while Zora is scrolling, I mean, while Zora is looking for a match on the elimination. elimination yeah. uh, so on our website we've released a handy article on this update. Uh, so it may answer plenty of the questions that are being asked right now. So uh, for example, one of the most recent ones were asking about the food in the shelter. Mm -hmm. um, it's a part of the changes we made with the shelter improvements. Uh, we decided to tweak them and they basically have, they generate things much faster. So that means that you will have to, uh, let's say, pick up the resources from the improvements more. Uh, specifically for food, we also mentioned it earlier that it used to have a maximum capacity of 500. 70 or around that number. Oh, yeah. But yeah. now it's lowered uh, to 240. But that doesn't mean that your rat traps are not generating food any better. It's actually mm -hmm. the opposite. We've improved it uh, drastically. Like, I believe the rate should be on our changelog as well. Oh, no, it's not there. But I mean, for example, uh, people were also asking about the crumbs uh, in the oh, shelter's yeah. antenna because uh, they were worried when they saw that uh, if you were at level 13 you could you could get maximum 20 crowns on the mm -hmm. antenna rather than 25 but it's only the maximum capacity uh, we actually increased the generation of crowns by 30 percent or around 30 percent mm -hmm. so it's just the maximum capacity it doesn't mean that you're getting less it's uh, an intentional change because we wanted to improve how shelter improvements work in general. So there's that. Um, let's see. And we also added seasonal challenges, which I believe uh, some players have already been starting on. Like, I mm -hmm. saw some people grinding through and some said that they've already done 20 challenges and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's been one day! You guys are awesome! How? <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, and also, as we mentioned, there's the new premium pack, the Fallen Crown of Daisy, uh, with the cool cosmetics. And we also added an instant crafting option. Mm -hmm. 
which was also requested by the community, Definitely, I believe. Yeah. And we've also recently changed the airdrop boosting system. Uh, they're mm -hmm. basically more rewarding now. I think this table perfectly summarizes what's changed um, with the old system and the new system. Uh, it usually it changes from the fifth tier. So if you would like to read more into the table, feel free to check it out on our website. Um, and we've also made more changes to onboarding. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick run through of what we've put on the update blog. Please have a read, take a look. I think that it has a lot of valuable information and you can read it in tandem mm -hmm. with our change log as well, which will help you understand <laughs> much more information. Mm -hmm. And oh, I see that Zora was no, able no, no, to okay. get in. It's so really weird. <laughs> okay, I didn't get to see it happen, no, which no, I'm no. a bit sad about. But... No, no, no. They were just staying there, so I thought that I'm not gonna kill them because they are not playing, they are not connected yet or something. But th then the guy just killed me, like, right oh, away. <laughs> um, just... We have a question about seasonal challenges uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the rewards. Has the reward been revealed? No, and mm -hmm. we are not planning on revealing it. You it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it would be interesting to finally see uh, someone post, Hey guys, I've finished the challenges, all seasonal challenges, and here's but the reward. That would be too soon. I mean, it has been it, one day. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but some people were already at 20 challenges done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just seen someone even with 35 challenges or oh, something. Geez, that, that's a grind, mm. bro. And there's even a question regarding challenges in general. Is there a reason why we have melee challenges? Because it's challenging. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like to say mm -hmm. always. Like we, we know that uh, melee isn't like technically working as it should in bigger, or like it's not the best to say at least. Uh, but it makes it more challenging to complete. To be completely honest, I mean. Yep, I mean... Sounds fair to me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's not the most fun challenge to complete, but it's definitely challenging, you have to admit that. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. Alright, let's see what else other chats have to say. And if mm -hmm. you see any interesting questions, oh, yeah, sure. feel free to uh, pick it out. Um, will do, will do. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Give um, me a week, I already got 20 challenges done. Yeah, okay, we're waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll mm -hmm. Totally would love to have a look uh, once someone finishes the challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, let's see. Okay. <sighs> Hello devs, greetings. What about improving the crossbow with explosive arrows or radiation arrows? Another I'm... radiation thing. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it sounds like a cool idea, but I think that aside from it, like, we have to be careful adding such things because we need to make sure that uh, the game doesn't change too much in favor of one playstyle. Definitely, yeah. So I think that explosive arrows are cool, but I'm not sure how the looters would feel mm -hmm. about that. Um,. Let's have yes, a look. exactly that. And also, I feel like currently we have enough things that go boom mm -hmm. and, and bigger. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, no exploding arrows mm -hmm. for now, at least. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see what else the chat has uh, to Maybe we can address uh, the one from Crazy Stone uh, 89 because I have seen it multiple times oh, already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's a tough question, like what is the future of Vigor, the plenty of dissatisfied players and stuff like that. You know, this is really a broad question that doesn't have a simple answer. It's not like I will just sit here and give you the ultimate resolution and an answer to that, right? Uh, there are dissatisfied players, there are also satisfied players. It really depends on your personal, you know, like how you feel about the game and all of the changes. There will always be people that like what we do with the new updates and some people that don't. Uh, we really try our best not to focus on one group of players, uh, whether it is killers versus looters, old players versus the new ones, we always try to make something for everyone. 
Uh, it necessarily doesn't mean that we always like satisfy everyone, but we at least try. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to the future of Vigor, I would say that we will just keep on doing what we are doing now. Uh, trying to improve the game as much as possible, listen to your feedback. We, we still have some exciting things coming uh, that the team is really passionate about. And also, as we did the video at the beginning of the year, we said that, for example, we want to focus on the onboarding experience, which we are mm -hmm. currently doing, even like the last two updates contained at least something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we are trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, our small team is doing its best, mm -hmm. um, and we are very grateful that you guys are still supporting us. Uh, we wouldn't really be here without y'all, and your feedback is, is always very valuable to us. So thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else the chat has to say. Okay, this is an interesting question mm -hmm. about consumables. Uh, Tiny Online's asking, as there have been many shooter or hunter style consumables added recently, are there any plans for looter style consumables for the loot thieves? Actually, well, the, the adrenaline shot. shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly enough, it's, well, not surprising really, but if you're faster, you can actually loot more and also it has Cover effect more on, the, on the heaviness of your backpack as well. Yeah. So it's definitely the debuffs a uh, lot, so it's actually good for looters. Yeah. Uh, you get to cover more area, loot some more, yeah. especially because the loot is quite spread out on mm -hmm. maps uh, because we made a change with Oh yeah, that. definitely. We took it into the loot distribution as well, so... Yeah, but that was not with this update, it was yeah, with the yeah, previous yeah. update, just to make mm -hmm. things clear. But yeah, uh, we feel that the adrenaline shot can really help you out if you want to run around quickly, grab as much loot as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? A lot of our other Outlanders used to say loot and scoot, and that's literally what you could do yeah, with exactly. the adrenaline that's shot. You loot and you scoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And Tiny Online follows up with a suggestion. Bigger backpacks or finding a bigger backpack in the Outlands? Mm -hmm. That's a fair point. Yeah. For sure. I believe that idea has been floating around within the community for a while now, mm -hmm. um, and I think that we're gonna have to rehash it with the team to see what we could do uh, in terms of that. But it's a, it's a good looter-centric mm -hmm. consumable for sure. Um, if you have any other ideas for other looter-centric consumables, please feel free to let us know. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it's loot and beep beep like Roadrunner. Uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Mm -hmm. The music is interesting. How was it selected and will you be adding more vinyls? Uh, the music is actually interesting because uh, the music was made by our team. Or yeah, not, not necessarily people <clears throat> in our team, like ones who are sitting here right now, but we have some tal talented, musically inclined um, colleagues who mm -hmm. were nice enough to give us the music for oh, the yeah, game, yeah. which is what you uh, would listen to. In we're trying to get a lot of them, like a lot, yeah, yeah, lot, of, lot of really good musicians yeah, yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. That's not true. Yeah, so that's actually how we got the finals. Mm -hmm. um, Will you be adding more vinyls in the future? Um, we are definitely discussing it, uh, because again, it can be a bit time consuming, you know, to collect uh, the music, make the actual vinyls. Uh, also, just the copyright stuff and everything can be a bit too much at the time, so we definitely do not want it to overdo it with them. Mm -hmm. But we are currently discussing our possibilities, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because they're just nice, collectible, I would say. Even if you do not want to listen to them, per se, it's still... Satisfying! Like, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. They're basically mementos, so... Mm -hmm. True that. Um, and we've also got a question regarding some of the changes we've made with our most recent update. Why mm -hmm. is the crafting time now more for some weapons? 
Um, all right. Well, I know that it's mentioned on the change log. I just mm -hmm. need to find it before showing it to the Outlanders. But it will be based on rarities. So mm -hmm. let me just control F and rarities. No? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Nice. All right. Let me just quickly show it to our community. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so in our change log we mentioned that crafting times of some weapons were changed according to rarity. Uh, we heard a lot of feedback from the community for a long time that they believed that the rarity of weapons is something that we need to work more with. Oh yeah, true yeah. Uh, So we tried to step in that direction with this. So um, the crafting times will the lengths of crafting times will vary depending on the rarity of your weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, but not all of them take much longer. I mean, if I could think of some examples, like the L86A1, which is a gold or special issue mm -hmm. rarity, it used to take much longer. Um, I don't believe I remember the numbers correctly, but the numbers of it is like about... I think it's about... 20% less mm -hmm. than, like it takes 20% less than it used to. Yeah. So there might be some that take longer, but others mm -hmm. take a shorter time. Like I also believe that the crossbow takes a shorter time now. I think half, yeah, 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 that's true. half its time that it used to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like it, it depends. Yeah, it was literally an overhaul, yes. Yeah, some, mm -hmm. Sometimes got shorter, some longer. Yeah, really but depends. it's mm -hmm. all based on the rarity of the weapon. Yeah. So hopefully that that clears it up. But mm -hmm. since we're talking about crafting times already, I'm also going to mention that the consumables, like the crafting times of consumables and tools have also changed based on rarity. And a lot of them actually take much faster now. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, let's say iodine used to take much longer. It's quite shorter now. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Mm, Painkillers as well used mm -hmm. to take a while, but now it's a bit quicker. So. Hopefully that answers your question and it gives you some more information on what we've changed recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and back to the game where Zora is trying to find someone to shoot in that house. I think they're hiding. There. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, he's there. Oh, you got him. Ooh. Let's go. Nice. All right. Let's see mm -hmm. what the chat has Ooh. to say. Uh-huh. Uh, I've also seen some people uh, mentioning the shelter again, which mm -hmm. I think that it won't hurt uh, to, to repeat, repeat it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's just a visual bug, we know about it, the team is currently working on effects and we hope to release a hotfix mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Uh, it's just really unpleasant, even though like um, your shelter didn't really reset, it's just the vis visuals, we still understand that this is a really nasty bug. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hopefully that helps you guys mm -hmm. feel more motivated and understanding that we're working on it. <laughs> uh, let's see what other chats have to say as well. Um, there, there. Someone loves your tattoo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see. Could you please make a shelter improvement where you can upgrade to get more consumable slots going at once? Mm -hmm. I don't even have portable signal detectors or armor plate plans, but this is already a problem if you use consumables a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an interesting suggestion for a shelter improvement. Thank you for sending it over to mm -hmm. us. Um, I think that we could definitely discuss it as an idea, you know, for the future, if, if it's something that the team would like to head in that direction, uh, if we We, we can definitely discuss it, but mm -hmm. with, the, with these things it can be a bit hard to find the right balance, right? Oh, yeah. Because you still want to uh, make it rewarding and that you actually have to wait for things to be crafted or, or that you have to like really think about it, what do you want to craft? Uh, first and second and 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 so on. So yes, it's really hard to tackle into those things. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also we got a question about how many people are working on vigor. Mm -hmm. um, and 
I mean, it's already in the chat, but I think it still holds value if you as oh, yeah, answer it. Oh yeah, absolutely, as it was already responded in the chat, it's under 30 people, yes, and it's 26. 26, 26 yes. is the correct mm -hmm. number. Yeah, so yeah. we definitely are like a big team. <laughs> but we're doing our best, we're mm -hmm. trying our hardest, and we hope that you appreciate our efforts. Um, all right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Mm -hmm. um, discovered locations are all undiscovered again. Oh, that doesn't sound like a very nice issue. Um, mm -hmm. sorry. It's definitely a bug. Yeah, like, we're just, sorry about that. Sure. Yeah. Um, if you could just give us more information on our socials, like which platform you're on, mm -hmm. uh, just in case it's a platform-specific yeah. issue so that the team could look into it. And thank mm -hmm. you for bringing that up. All right. Let's see what other chats have to say as well. Oh. Are y'all dropping any codes soon? And does every dev stream have giveaways? Oh, that's because uh, in our last stream with Mikhail and Alex, we had a giveaway. Oh, or a yeah, few yeah. giveaways. It was a nice stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Um, and well, this time around, we're not going to be giving out some giveaway codes, but we may do mm -hmm. some giveaways in the future for sure. So thank mm -hmm. you for the question. Thank you for bringing it up. Uh, I've seen something in the chat. Will you expand elimination? I have more than four friends to play with. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. you. <laughs> I don't. It's uh, nice to have friends. But <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, but uh, to be completely honest, no. Like we aren't currently thinking about expanding elimination. We are pretty satisfied with the game mode right now. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, more people are playing it, and I think that it's. It's good, it's definitely fun to play now. Oh yeah. And we've even got a suggestion from our community member that if you have more than four friends, you can get them to go against you, and then you have nine friends to play with at the same time. <laughs> true that, true it's that. still a lot of friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus, people have social lives. <laughs> Alright. And we have a question, uh, although it's in French, they're wondering why we've changed the um, resources uh, in the shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we didn't change the resources. Oh, like, what do you mean that the, yeah, the resources required for the shelter improvements? Yeah, the shelter improvements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the tweaks that we've made, uh, as I was talking about earlier, that the generation of the shelter improvements has increased mm -hmm. drastically, let's say. So yeah. that means that it would take a little bit more of a grind to get those. Uh, shelter improvements leveled up, mm -hmm. uh, but we trust that everyone is grinding their heart out, especially with our newest updates, so uh, we believe that it will actually be all evened out in the end. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, let's see what the chat has to say. Uh -huh. And let's see. Ooh, Zora's team won! Yeah, but not because of me. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good. They but care about They're definitely the coolest. You know, yeah. the helmet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. love the helmet. It looks yeah. awesome. Would love it in real life, dude. Yeah, true that. Let's see how much. Ooh, and I Almost. really love the animation screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Oh, best dev team ever, says so <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's see what the chat has to say. And congratulations, Zara, you were able to help yeah, your team you. win. Yeah, yeah really <laughs> help. I really like, I killed two, or maybe one. <laughs> Better than none. Mm -hmm. um, All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think it was, was also was it though? Was it? It was it, really toxic. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining that people mm -hmm. were team killing them. People were yeah. people were nasty. They would like invite you to be a duo and uh -huh. then lure you to all the spots, make you loot, take the loot, and then they kill you. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, that wasn't very pleasant. Um, and 
that's why we're probably not going to be returning random duos anytime soon. Uh, mm -hmm. We just don't want the toxicity to go out of hand there. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry if this has been answered, but are there any plans to rebalance guns? I believe that you were talking a bit about this with Alex yep. and Michal when yep, yep. they were here last time. Mm -hmm. um, and I said we're going step by step. So there are plans for it, albeit it looks very slow, but the team is on it. Our small team yes. is doing their best. <laughs> uh, let's see what the chat has to say in other uh, in the other parts of our streams as well. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any plans for AFK players in eliminations? Uh, well, right now, what you could do is use the report system exactly. that we have. Uh, mm -hmm. It's quite unfortunate that players uh, try to, let's say, exploit others by farming crates in that way, and we don't condone that behavior. So we highly recommend using the report system, mm -hmm. uh, which I believe then someone will be like, and what are you doing about the reports on your report system? So I might as well preemptively mention mm -hmm. that we are looking into the reports that we are getting, uh, and we are currently expanding our database of reports so that we could understand it much better, and we could understand what path to take uh, with the reports mm -hmm. because we need a more representative data before taking action. Uh, so there's that and we plan on taking action quite soon. So mm -hmm. we hope you stay tuned for that. Uh, and so we really recommend mm -hmm. using the report system mm -hmm. as it actually helps us out a lot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's see what else the chat has to say. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, as I said, people will be talking about it. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. The report system. Yes, we are doing something about it. We are collecting the reports and we are assessing each one and we are assessing the actions that we would be taking based on yeah. the representative data that we get. Mm -hmm. All right. And mm -hmm. do we have any future plans with elimination, like new maps or weapons? Uh, well, I mean, sure, if well, they would like to see it, absolutely. When it comes to new weapons, it's pretty much a no-brainer because we always try to incorporate uh, the new stuff that we are adding to the game, also to the other game modes, not just the encounters. So yes, eventually. I do not promise that we will always put the newest weapon into the animation shootout as well, but eventually uh, we will add them for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and in new maps, uh, it's it's not a secret, we mentioned it multiple times that we are, as of now, working on new maps, looking into it, but it is mm -hmm. a time-consuming process, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. You have too many weapons and none are balanced. I'm sorry, much love. Well, uh, thank you for the feedback, and we know that there are plenty of weapons, actually, which is why, as we mentioned earlier, and we've mentioned it on a previous stream as well, mm -hmm. we're taking it step by step when it comes to uh, tweaking them uh, and uh, making them either more viable or more balanced based on the, let's say, mm -hmm. overall changes. But we're going categorically, so it will take yeah. time. Exactly. Uh, so right now uh, we're still working on it and we hope that eventually we'll get to hear more feedback once we've finally taken more steps mm -hmm. towards improving mm -hmm. the weapons in general. Also, I have seen one comment. Please, for the love of bigger gods, don't add any more guns. <laughs> uh, and I can kind of see where is this coming from, but to be completely honest, it was way worse uh, at the beginning of bigger. Uh, even during the game preview and then after the after the full release because initially I think that we were adding like three, three or weapons. two weapons in one yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. every update and that was definitely exhausting for the team first of all and I don't think that it was necessary. Oh yeah, in hindsight, yeah. yes. Yes. I think we could have taken it slower mm -hmm. for sure. So yeah, uh, since, since then I think 
for the last year at least, we are releasing only one new event this mm -hmm. season. Yep. Only in the major updates, which I feel like is okay for now. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, Alright, let's see what the chat has to say. What are you doing to bring back the looting part of this looter shooter as opposed to all of your current work to make it a shooter only? Um, I wouldn't say so. Take it away. Uh, sure, I mean, uh, we are always trying to help both sides, mm -hmm. even the killers and, and the looters as well. If, for the looters, it's a bit harder, I would say, because when it comes to the killing key, you notice it right away, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but for example, this time we have added the adrenaline shot, which makes looting way easier and faster as well. Uh, also, the loot redistribution at the points of interest and in the maps as well. I mean, it's it's much better now than it than was in the past. Definitely, for definitely. sure. Um, it also makes more sense. I mean, you will find glass and stuff like that at places that you would actually find glass, which is in real life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is which is great. So yeah, I, I mean, these small changes usually usually help looters. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have any interesting uh, ideas for for looting, I don't know, consumables or other stuff that we should do, definitely do let us know. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I just wanted to quickly remind uh, the people who are watching our stream that mm. uh, the adrenaline shot also uh, counters like weight debuffs, mm -hmm. which is also why it helps uh, with the looting aspect. Uh, so you could loot more and run more without any issues. <laughs> All right, uh, let's... <laughs> All right, let's see what the chat has to say. Um, we have some killers in the chat, I can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh-huh. Oh, you mentioned the loot redistribution in maps. Could you explain that a bit more because it doesn't go into detail in the patch notes? Um, it's not something that we've done with this most recent update. I believe it was like two updates ago, maybe mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. But it was definitely not in this update. Yeah, it's um, It was in a past update where mm -hmm. we just spread the loot around more so that they're not all clumped up in one mm -hmm. spot. Uh, all right. And again, we're being asked why we reduced rat traps, box of herbs, and box of plants. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's not that we reduced them. We actually, as per our changelog, uh, which I believe that you should have a look at so it can help you understand more, it's only the maximum capacity that we've changed. Uh, the generation of materials or food that you get from these shelter improvements actually uh, have increased so they're actually much faster now and so they I mean faster in the sense that they generate more so that's why in that sense that that's probably also why we changed the maximum capacity because then it would just get full really fast so okay. yeah exactly mm -hmm. all right Let's see what else the chat has to say. And yep, there is the change log in the mm -hmm. chat uh, for YouTube. So hopefully it will help you out uh, with checking out what's new with this update. Aside from our update blog, of course, uh, because it's got more detailed explanations. Like, I mean, the change log is very straightforward in bullet points, but the update blog kind of tells a story because yeah, exactly. it's more descriptive, I mm -hmm. would say. And it also covers just the like major changes mm -hmm. and, and new features. So you, the changelog is good for the smaller stuff, like if you are interested in, for example, bug fixes and, and stuff like that, it's usually in mm -hmm. the changelog. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see what the other chats have to say. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It would be nice to be able to replace our armor plates after it's damaged, since we can't use the damaged one <coughs> in the next match. Mm -hmm. um, does that mean that you would like to re like replace them? Well, like you could bring in maximum two. 
armor yes. plates. So, mm -hmm. uh, did I understand that correctly? I'm sorry, I, mm -hmm. I'm not understanding it very well, so if you could clarify, that would be really great, so that we could help you out here. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. And how's it going there, Zora? Not good for me. Oh, I'm sorry. But good for others, I think. They are really good again. Like, yeah. okay. You got this. Come on. Ah. Oh. Like, I killed only one. Mm -hmm. Aww. That's still one right. is better than none. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes, that is the way to go. One is but better than none. But our players are really good, and <laughs> I'm really bad at it. So. Oh, well, I don't think you're bad, but also just like a lot of players who are watching our stream might also be trying to get into the same lobby oh, as yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And as I yeah, mentioned earlier, yeah, we is. have a lot of killers. Mm -hmm. uh, Zara, I was wondering if you could actually go to the premium packs tab, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because oh you need to go back but okay yeah, 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 the battle pass i know you just want yeah. the rewards it's very satisfying <laughs> to claim them uh, i just wanted to show it real quick before we mm -hmm. um uh end the stream because we will be ending in around five oh, minutes it's nearly yeah oh. you'll mm -hmm. have to uh press right trigger i know mm -hmm. that one one more i know that you're yeah, used to playing on a different uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. controller so uh huh. Uh -huh. It's, it's not rolling. Yeah. Nice. Happening? Sorry. Rip. <clears throat> but basically, uh, this season we also mm -hmm. added mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. new animations, which we sadly cannot show uh, right now. But hopefully, that you were able to take a look at it right now uh, in your shelters, and we hope that you can let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I have an Xbox Series X, but the graphics in the game look like an Xbox One. It's very blurry. Will you correct this? Uh, I'm really sorry to hear that you're uh -huh. experiencing this. Uh, thank you for bringing it up. Uh, well, maybe I, I have really bad eyesight, so I couldn't tell from this mm -hmm. distance, but uh, we'll definitely have the team look into it. Uh, thank you for reporting it to us. Yes. And then we've also got a follow-up from the community about the premium packs. Apparently they're having a hard time mm -hmm. viewing it as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Like, okay. So, we'll look at it. We'll mm -hmm. look at it. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what else the chat has to say. Um, mm -hmm. hmm, we'll probably be taking one of the last questions before we say bye. So if you have any questions that we would, mm. that you would love for us to answer right now, then just go ahead and let but us know. Honorable Bandit is mentioning that the staff has not been working on Xbox all, all day, day, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but we will look into it and we will try to fix it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, still in the hunt for the final question, but before we look for that, I just wanted to read out this very nice oh, heartfelt yeah, comment. Nice. Mm -hmm. To the devs on screen and off, anything and everything is possible, don't give up, you'll get there. To the chat mm -hmm. and outlanders, you're all legends. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. you, please don't leave the outlands, better days ahead. Yeah. Yeah. There are always Thank you. We love you too. This yeah. is yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's. We really need to pick a good spicy last question before we end mm -hmm. the stream today. Okay. Uh, and if any of you see like a really good question, like I will hand it over to uh -huh. both of you. You both should pick. You're the guests, so maybe uh -huh. you could okay, sure. pick a nice question that you'd really like to mm -hmm. answer. Um. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Before we say bye. So if you have any questions, just put them in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe what are your guys' favorite things in update? I think that the Daisy Pack and also the Karma Corporation with the Reforger. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, but I really like the helmet, the Yellow King, this one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, true that definitely. The, the helmet mm. has been one of the highlights. Mm. I also like the adrenaline show. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 that's uh, my favorite. Yeah. 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 When the discussion started, I was a bit skeptical about how is this consumable going to, you know, if the community is going to like it. Mm -hmm. But in the end, you know, with uh, reducing the debuffs and everything, it's actually a really useful consumable. So I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've learned like. 
I, I agree and I felt the mm -hmm. same. I was a bit nervous about it in the start, but the more that we got into making it happen, the more I am convinced about it, actually. <laughs> Especially because I'm more of a looter than a shooter, so yeah, it's yeah, very helpful. Yeah, me too, but still, I, I can gun, uh, like the gun, the, the Barry uh, M12, mm -hmm. too. So, yeah. Is your armor? Wow. No, <laughs> don't fun. don't make me do this! <laughs> tough it's one. tough one. But, but really we cannot really answer one. that, we already picked the last question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay. You will never know. Oh, maybe uh, next time. <laughs> uh, but it's also really hard to answer something like that when we have colleagues from both of these projects also yeah, yeah. in this building as well. So, mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Want to start both, of, both of these <laughs> projects are awesome, pretty mm. much. Yeah. Yeah. So I, like I wouldn't be able to yeah, choose. Yeah, it's really hard mm. to choose. Um, Alright, so that concludes our stream today. Thank you all so much for stopping by and hopefully we'll be able to see more feedback from you over the next few days, weeks, months, especially regarding our latest update. So mm -hmm. just let us know what you think. As always, you could let us know on our socials and we're looking forward to it. Um, yes. Any okay. last words before we say bye, ladies? Uh, just Stay awesome, uh, it was nice seeing you all in the chats today and also in the game. Uh, give the new update a try, let us know if there are any issues or if you actually like something, that would be cool as well. And if you don't like something, definitely throw your feedback at us. Uh, stay awesome and we will see you in the Outlands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, last okay, words. Uh, I think that our community is really great. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so too. <laughs> All yeah. right, thank you everyone so, thank for you. stopping thank you by much. and we'll see you in the Outlands. Bye bye. Yeah. See you. Bye. See you in the Outlands.